Hello and welcome to the final part of Squid Game character modeling series in Blender. So in this part we will light and render up our character inside Blender EV. So let's get started. So in the previous video we textured this character in Substance Blender. So let's just export the texture by clicking on the file export. Click this one to with Alpha. And make sure this one to the transparent so we also get the transparency and click on export and open output directory and here we get all the textures so all we have to do is to go to the sharing click on your principal shader and make sure that your node regular add-on is turned on so if not then search here for node regular and turn on it and click on save so it will help you to import the textures very easily so just click on your principal shader Control shift and t and select all of these and click on principal texture setup so it will set up all the materials and texture automatically so there we have we get all the textures and everything that we need so now we have to set up the light and all of the stuff inside EV so first of all I have to check up all these options to get the proper results click this one to a high contrast or medium high contrast and make sure to view the transform to the filmic so it will make a better result so just add up a plane, scale it up so it will be all our floor and go to the environment setting and make this one to completely dark and let's just show it in the render view so as you can see it's completely dark now which is good and now we have to add the light so first of all I have to add a fill light so I will go to the lights and add an area light I will go to the front view, rotate this one, add it here and from the top view let's just add it simply a little to the front one and rotate it like this and now see through the camera is this how is this looking so it's, it will be our fill fill light so I will scale it up and maybe increase the uh, light strength a little and now just click on the floor go to material setting and add a new material make this one completely black and increase the reference to about one and now change the specular to somewhere around here so we have like we don't need any specular here so as you can see if I turn off the layout here and the grid so as you can see it's completely showing dark which is what we need okay so after that we have to add a light to this to this side so I will just add a light here and make sure to decrease the strength or power and let's see how does it look so it's look nice we have to just fill the area a little and now for the third we have to add the rim light so it will be on the top like this maybe a little from the back from the back side like this and now we have to increase the strength so we will make the strength like this and also we need a little like blue color okay so after that we need to simply add a circle and just scale it a little up go to the edit mode and press F to fill that and let's just move it a little with uh, the Z direction to move it a little up and let's see it through the uh, render view so it's looking like this just add a new material to it and again do the same things increase the roughness uh, and make the color to a black a kind of like and just play with the uh, with this value a little like this okay one thing that we notice is that our material is pretty much dull so let's just add some hue saturation so go to the sharing and shift a and add a hue saturation node I will put it here and just increase the saturation to about like this and now go again here to the layout and let's see it like this okay and for the hues, uh, and for the volumetric lighting I just close this one add a new one go to the sharing click this one and make this one to word and shift a and add a volume scatter node just go to the layout just click on the EV render and let's see how this is looking so we have to make this one to a little about the sky color like this connect this one to the volume and decrease this value to about 0.01 and just click this one this color and grab it to around here okay guys so that's it you can use uh, this word setting if you want or you can also use 
the second one okay so that's it and here we have the finished result hope you guys like it and you learn something from this okay guys so if you learn something from this video so share it with your friends to learn character modeling in blender so thank you guys for watching for now bye